This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is on geology and we are covering a geologic law or geologic principle called the law of inclusions. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Charles Lyell, a Scottish geologist, worked on the principles set forward by James Hutton previously and produced three books in the early 1830s, so 1830, 1832, and 1833. And these three books, these three publications, outlined in great detail geologic principles and geologic processes, which applied to Hutton's theories and understandings of rocks and rock layers and strata. And Lyle pushed forward and confirmed both uniformitarianism and unconformities in geology. He also put forward the law or principle of inclusions, which is what this video is discussing. Charles Lyell was investigating rock layers and formulating his principles for his Principles in Geology book he was noticing that there were smaller rocks found within a larger rock called a host rock and these small rocks that were found inside the larger rocks these were called inclusions and his principle is explaining how these inclusions got to be in the larger rock how they're found there what process caused them to be in this larger rock and his principle states that the inclusion must be younger than the rock it's found in because if it's not younger there would be no rock to be found in there would be no inclusion so it's kind of a common sense principle that these inclusions are younger than the rock they're found in now the difficulty or the complexity of this principle comes with how these inclusions got to be in the rock in the first place what brought them there how what was the process or the mechanism that produced this situation geologically now if you have an igneous rock let's say a lava or magma flow and then you find little inclusions within the igneous rocks they're called xenoliths and if you find a mineral crystal within the igneous rock it's called a xenocrist so Lyle stipulated that these inclusions must have been brought up through the rock layers and deposited in the host rock where they're found. Now this could have happened through various processes, most likely through igneous intrusions, igneous dikes or sills where the magma is rising through the pre-existing sedimentary rock layers by the surface and removing parts of the rock that's deeper, transporting those small bits of rock, and then depositing the rock in the host rock where it's found. So these inclusions are basically weathered pieces of deeper, older, sedimentary, igneous or metamorphic rock that has been transported towards the surface through igneous dikes and sills, and then deposited once the igneous rock has moved or flowed through that rock layer thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you like it please subscribe and hit the like button if you like more on this content please check out my channel which has all these videos on earth science